Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, Bohemian family. I hope you're having a very delicious day. It's Mino and Amina. We are in Kyrgyzstan. In this video, we are going to try hot, juicy meat samsa, crispy and buttery golden pancake katama with fresh cream. We'll meet local chefs and taste Kyrgyzstan village food and different traditional dairy products. I'm so hungry. Are you ready? Yalla! This is Ormon from Kyrgyz Tourism. We're gonna have fantastic Kyrgyzstan food to work with Ormon. Yes! Welcome to Kyrgyzstan. Assalamu alaikum. Wow, Samsa! Samsa is a traditional Central Asian pastry stuffed with meat or vegetables. Samsa has been traditionally baked in the tandoor, which is a special clay oven. What? This is very hot. Wow, it's very, very hot. Wow! <laughs> wow, look at this Samsa. Also, it's very hard. Oh yes, there are onion, beef, potato, and lamb fat. Dumba. Wow. Bismillah. Oh. Mm. This is very nice. Yeah. yeah. This is a typical breakfast in Kyrgyzstan. Outside is crispy. Inside, super juicy. It's like samsa but fried version. Khoshan. Kyrgyz people make tasty pastries simply with salt, pepper, meat, mm. onions, and lamb fat. Fried donut with meat and sweet onion. Each samsa contains enough lamb fat to keep you warm. This is uh, like Kyrgyzstan sandwich, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, it's like juice. Yes. Kyrgyzstan juice. My name is uh, Tan. Tan. Lahmat. Look at this salty yogurt. Tan. Bismillah. Mmm. Oh, it's like Turkish iron. Yeah. Sour and slightly salty flavor leaves a refreshing creamy sensation in the mouth. This is Maksim mixture with wheat, water, and lamb fat when they ferment it. Mmm. Wow, it's so nutty, sour, and tangy, and it contains a lot of wheat. Wow. Usually farmers drinking, when uh -huh. working in the land, shepherds people, when protecting oh. and sheep. This is uh, very nice for thirsty and for the hungry also, you oh, know. Yeah. Now we are going to Chongkimin area to try Kyrgyzstan national bread, katama, and a lot of delicious dairy product. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, katama. katama. The ladies are making Kyrgyz puff pastry with sour cream and oil. She spreads the cream and oil mixture over the thinly rolled dough and sprinkles some green onions. Then fold the layers in a way that makes the texture of this dough as delicious as possible.
they flatten out the raw dough and start to bake it on a hot frying pan. Oh, they have very unique way of making the pastry more crispy and crunch. Wow, interesting. <laughs> Wow, it's very thick. Uh, we eating uh, kaimak uh, with katama is very tasty. Oh yes. Oh. Wow, take it Oh, there was milk inside the kettle. Yes. Okay. Can I start milk tea? Bismillah. The milk is so fresh. Oh. Wow, katama looks very crispy. <laughs> yes. Is it very hot? Uh huh. Wow, it looks so nice. Okay. Wow. Look how crispy and the layer. Amazing. Mm. Just <laughs> so nice. Thick, rich, creamy came up with. Crispy katama. This is one of the creamiest combination for crispy pastries. Mm. Mm. We arrived at the house of Altenezje, a local milk artisan. Assalamu alaikum. This is a separator. This is a oh. separated uh, milk and cream. Skim meals comes out of the one side and fresh cream out of the other. She's making borsok. Borsok is one of a traditional Central Asian bread. Whenever Kyrgyz people have guests, borsok is the first thing they prepare. Wow, it's very rich and big kaimak. Bismillah. Altenezza makes a thin bread that looks like chapati. Tears it up and adds ghee to the top. She boils the skim milk and adds salt to taste. Then she pours the milk into a bowl with bread and ghee. 
أحمد جدكا جدكا آه أي موت صوتيك بسم الله حتى غاية The ghee is dissolved in the milk, therefore the soup is buttery but not heavy. She's already preparing the next dish. This time it's noodles. She cooks them in milk. A spoon of ghee for extra buttery flavor. Wow, look at this milk noodle with butter. Yes. I've done dumb do. I've done dumb do. Ash person. This milk is not fatty because they already moved the cream from the milk. Instead of fat, she put some butter. So the taste is savory, buttery, and lightly milky. Wow, I love this taste so much. This is chobogo. Chobogo is a byproduct of making ghee from cream mixed with flour. It is a very distinctive dish of the nomadic people of Central Asia. Mm. It's kind of nutty, buttery, and slightly sour, and so fatty as well. Black tea goes very well with all kind of Kyrgyz food. Ah, oh, Alhamdulillah. This trip is sponsored by Kyrgyz Tourism. Welcome to Kyrgyzstan. Yalla! When we arrived at the guest house in the afternoon, the chef was preparing dumplings. Mante. Mante she mixes the meat with onion, pumpkin, salt, mixed spices, red pepper, water, and vegetable oil. Then she uses a small bowl to cut the dumpling wrappers. She also prepared clear beef soup shorpo for the dumplings. Oh, shorpo. You've got some beef, capsicum, carrot, and potato. Bismillah. Wow. This beef soup is perfect for this cold weather. Yes. Wow. Oh. Kyrgyzstan dumpling, month. Beef, vegetable, and some pumpkin. Oh, look at this. Mm. Wow. 
it's slightly sweet because of pumpkin. Yeah. It's, uh, what a genius. Chili sauce. Mm -hmm. mm. And we have kimchi. I'm so lucky to have kimchi in Kyrgyzstan. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Mixing kimchi with uh, with mantu. In Kyrgyzstan, many people mix tea with strawberry jam instead of sugar. So I'm gonna try homemade strawberry jam with black tea. Oh yes. Ah. The next morning, we went for a walk. Oh, it's the beginning of Kaimak. Then we went back to the guest house for breakfast. Good morning, Bohemian family. We're gonna start Kyrgyzstan breakfast. Yes. And we have buckwheat soup with milk, cheese, salami, honey, Kaimak, strawberry jam. Kalamak bread, yogurt. Bismillah. Oh, so nutty and milky. It's slightly sweet. Oh, yes. Oh. Look at this fresh egg yolk. Look at this honey. The local honey and cheese are so fresh. And we have homemade ghee and strawberry jam. Mm. And this is my favorite thick cream, Kaimak. Honey. So you become Bar Kaimak. It's a dangerously perfect combination of creamy and sweet flavors. Mm. Don't forget subscribe to Bohemian Kitchen and hit the like button. Yeah.